coming to the ring with his manager, Mr. Fuji, the Heartbreak Kid, the WWF World Champion, Shawn Michaels. Snipers are trying to take their shots. This is where we're really hardcore. We're not only extreme here, we're severe. We're severe. We don't throw chairs here, because they're all bolted down. We blow shotguns at our world champion. being trained by the manager, the man who graduated from the Mr. Fuji School of Managering, Jose Lothario. They call Jose Lothario Mr. Electricity for a reason, and that's because Jose Lothario can excite a crowd, can bring a crowd to his feet. Jose Lothario, super stock, not only trained Shawn Michaels to wrestle all his maneuvers, but he trained Shawn Michaels to learn an appreciation for lipstick. Back to the match here. Shawn Michaels being outweighed by just about 230 pounds. That's over his complete body weight manhandling all 451 pounds of the man I call Vader. Shawn Michaels now sunset flip on to Vader, but Vader with the raggedy Rudy Poot misses. And Shawn Michaels, the heartbreak kid, coming down with the Frankensteiner style Huracan Rana executed to perfection. And the man she calls Vader is now going to go to work on Shawn Michaels. Jim Cornette still trying to dry off some of that Dairy Queen vanilla shake as he's on that Sprite rush. I like the Sprite in you, Jim Cornette, as it's exciting Vader and Super Sock Jose Lothario has nothing he can do about it. Roland Alexander now throwing debris into the ring as he's not happy as the man he calls Vader is in devious threat of taking the title away from Shawn Michaels. As those Tank Abbott-like shots to the left ear of Shawn Michaels, the WWF champion. And it looks like it's time. What time is it? It's time. What time is it? It's about 9.50. Oh, Michaels now. Ray Stevens has seen plenty of those. But the man we call Vader covers one, two. Was that a three? No. The man everyone calls Vader. Looks like he is right about seconds away with the side chancery. Shawn Michaels has submitted many times in the past in Mid-South Wrestling and in World Class Wrestling to this very maneuver here. Does anyone know Shawn Michaels' real name by chance? Michael Hickenbottom! Okay, well, that clears up a few matters. Mike Denae couldn't have said it any better. 
And now Shawn Michaels, the WWF champion, working his way clear from that side chancery. And the man nobody calls Vader looks like he's going to, oh, snap his neck. Snap his neck and kill him here dead in front of all these seven and eight year old little heartbreak kids. It looks like after this, he's not going to be the heartbreak kid. He's going to be the neck break kid. I hate to say it. I hate to see it, but it's going to happen here in the WWF. The man somebody calls Vader. <laughs> showing us why he's called Vader. Once again, the crowd getting behind him. While we're at a bit of a lull here, let's give another plug to our sponsor here, Market Street Cinemas, where you can get the greatest in lap rides. For just $5 for two minutes, you can get your own semen in your own pants. Market Street Cinemas, official sponsor. Oh, out goes the neck break, kid. And the man your mama calls Vader is going out after him. Jim Cornette is sizing up the situation. And Mr. Fuji, rather, Jose Lothario. Holy cow! I felt that tennis racket before. That's smart. I'm telling you, that's about as disgusting as drinking a cup of urine while receiving oral sex, fans. to say it, but I think it's even more disgusting. But you gotta love it. And the man Michael Hickenbottom calls Vader. Manhandling the man in. And the headbutt. The headbutt. Said butt. <laughs> We're about approaching the five-minute mark here. I noticed not too many black children running around the stands here as they were earlier on. Very unfortunate. Apparently, security has eliminated all the youthful Afro-Americans. Hassan Michaels, the champion, is mounting a comeback, but gets cut off by the man. The man you put in the word calls Vader. The man Bern Gagne wishes he called him Vader when he had him. And the man who is going to power bomb his way. No! Shawn Michaels fighting back with an acai hip lock. Ducking a roundhouse. A second. A flying burrito taught to him by Jose Lothario. This could be it, fans. We don't have to wait for SummerSlam. As a double axe handle has floored the big baby bull. And it feels like it's time to tune up a little bit of that sweet gummy bear music to the radio. Well, fans. It seems like it's unnecessary to order the pay-per-view. You already know who's going to win. The man Vader calls Vader has gone down to defeat. Shawn Michaels has put him away. The little 190-pounder has beat 468 pounds of Avalanche Big Van Vader. Super sock Jose Lothario has floored Cornette once again. you think he'd learn. And it's time, Wimbledon. Shawn Michaels the winner of this contest winning two love.
And it looks like Shawn Michaels wants to sing this one a cappella tonight. No music, just vocals. We'd like to thank you all, fans, for coming out here tonight and seeing the WWF. Once again, fans, thank you for coming here to join us. As Shawn Michaels taking after his hero, the great Nambla, dancing with the little boy in the ring. And who knows, God knows what he will do with him afterwards. Thank you, fans, for coming out to see us here today. For Conan, this is your ring announcer and color commentator. Take care, fans. Drive safely and get a life.